know, mm -hmm. where's the fire going to go if there's a problem? Uh, if it's contained, mm -hmm. if it's just contained, it is a contained fire. David Gordon's rocket burner. Rocket stove. This is my latest invention. The way these legs go on here. Mm. Oh, nice. A little support. So I started up, look at how easy that was. So now it's watch, gonna it's burn itself. Up. It's kind of, It was kind of coming up, but now... And then it's gonna one. burn itself. I mean, this thing will light yeah, it itself. Like and it's already have the air that's oh, going yeah. up. And look at there's no smoke, people. And there's no smoke. Um, so you could have Coming this of inside it. of your you tent or something smell. and just t tunnel this out, tube it out, which is what he did. Yeah, with there's that. also, yeah, we have to take this off and you put a, a full vent on it. But walk over there and put your face over it and smell it. You can't smell the wood burning. No. Yeah, it's incredible. It's bizarre. bizarre. Why does it do this? It vaporizes oh. the wood. You know, when you go camping and vaporizes it. You go camping and there's a fire and the smoke gets in your eyes, that is carbon monoxide. Oh. And the carbon monoxide in concentration, you can't see it. It's smoke. It burns your eyes, but it doesn't permanently burn them. It's not heat. It's a volatile chemical, much like gasoline fumes. It goes away, you have some tears and your eyes didn't get burned out. But that volatile fuel here in this system, by the virtue of it pulling in more air and by virtue of it doing this 90 degree turn, which causes a vortex. If you can look down there and see them, it won't burn your face too much. Now, it won't burn you at all. It won't burn you at all, really. Yeah, you can put your wow, face. Yeah, wow. Notice, like, little traces of smoke will exit the front here, but if you're in a contained environment, you're not having a 10, 50 mile an hour breeze. Yeah, it's a blow. So you were in, yeah, in a yeah. plastic pyramid. Oh, was that a plastic pyramid? In the freezing pyramid. snow, covered in snow, and this covered was snow, and in, I was the tent, in the but tent. This was out the outside tent. The entire tent was completely warmed just from this. So I was wow. hanging out in a t-shirt, drinking beers, and by the end of the night, the all the snow had melted off the top of the pyramid. Cool. And this thing, I didn't, I didn't choke once. I mean, there was literally no smoke, no carbon monoxide from any of this. So, wow, very cool. Very cool. It's so cool getting to see a demonstration. Yeah. I know you, yeah, they don't I mean, like to do it in the convention center, but. It, it lit up in what, so what 90 seconds? Like yeah. Three minutes? Yeah. I mean, uh, as far That's as from sorry. wood that to fire. That you said was your new invention, what was that for? Now, how long will these oh, small really pieces bad. of wood that he put in there burn? 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You know, um, Plenty enough to cook something. And it, well, you need, might need to real fill it one time. Yeah. You know, but the thing is, is what did I put in there? Yeah, yeah barely anything. Barely anything. Yeah. This is actual coal. If you haven't seen it before, it's rather interesting. It shatters oh. the heat with a hammer, it shatters like glass. And you could put that in there and that'll burn for it. Oh, and you could also shave this off and, and it would detox your body because uh, it's like uh, charcoal. You can't, that one's not right? steel? No, this is aluminum. All right. And this is what comes out when... No, no, no. no. This oh, is coal, okay. which, which like oh, what you okay. mm -hmm. okay. And you can use this in the steel version. Oh, in the steel version. It will thing. burn all night. If they do a modified hours, version of hours, that. Without having to tend it. This we have to tend quite a bit. Not terrible. We yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Except that stacking. It's like ready. a campfire. Yeah. you got to stay with it. Now, yeah. what about like charcoal? The stuff you would buy, like I the briquettes? We're, we're great. I just haven't used it much. Okay. I use it already. I can't really attest yet. Yeah. But this will make... So now we see some smoke coming off. That's burning the old grease. Yeah, on the top. Now, yeah. When a hamburger's on there, the grease drips down and it just becomes more fuel. <laughs> That's yeah. genius. Cool. And everything cleans itself. It doesn't, you know, you obviously get a little bit and then this will get some grease on it. But it's self cleaning. There's no ash builds up. Oh. It, all of it gets vaporized. It vaporizes wood. Wow. That's really cool. Yeah, so. Isn't that little future. mini one, that little small one, isn't that cute for a backpack? Yeah, yep. you wouldn't, you would think fire can't live in there, but it's the same principle. Mm -hmm. Now, what's happening too, we're getting a little bit of a backwind in an area like this. Who knows where the wind is squirreling around, mm -hmm. coming from whatever direction over these buildings. So, it will get backwinded. And then the fire kind of comes out this way, and this, you see, it'll be the proof of in the pudding in the sense that you see where it would like if it were normal operation there'd be tons of smoke coming off this thing oh yeah and you see little whiffs now and then you can see this is kind of licking out this way it means the flow isn't that strong 
camping. But yeah, if you're inside somewhere. Well, camping, you don't seem to have these solid structures. Yeah. yeah. Right. Whip things up. Wind's right. going to go and one way. Too, if there's a prevailing direction, you just turn this mm -hmm. towards it. Mm -hmm. And it just goes boom. And just now, how hot would this thing be right now? Could I touch that? No problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're fine. And that's oh, yeah. It's still cold. Uh, well, this is this is a uh, Catch? handle from the old steel stove. Is that like to bake stuff? Or yeah. What? And that's you, what it's you can, for? It's wow. Oh, that's so cool. and then you have a, you know, you've got. Also, you can put hand. this thing in there. Yeah, and, and adjust, adjust the airflow. The airflow, so it kind of controls yeah. it a little bit. Oh sure. I mean, boom. Now you got. Now see, you got smoke to come out because you're choking the oxygen just a little bit. So watch it, like clean oh, yeah. up again. Gone. Gone, just like that with. Oh, that's, that's cool. like the same thing that happens in the cars when you get smoke off because you're not getting enough oxygen. Yeah. Now it's a cool thing. You can take. Uh, an aluminum tube or whatever it is and put it into a, underneath a campfire down low and coming up to it and get the same effect your campfire will not have smoke if you do what take an aluminum air tube down below it or make or dig a path underneath give it an air supply give it air supply mm. from below wow and you don't need a tube but just like I'm you do all so yeah, that's what it does. Oh, so yeah, so this is neat. we could we could have more energy. or less boiled water already. Yeah. That's oh. way too hot. <laughs> way too hot to touch. The transfer between heat, excuse me, between metal to metal, it seems really wild. And I prefer the steel one. Yeah, me too. I don't like it. This is too. nice for camping though. It weighs just twenty five. The steel one is uh, about fifty. But and then this will from coating coatings on the inside. This one's brand new. Coatings mm -hmm. on the inside that creosote really that coats the whole thing you don't really have any exposure to aluminum mm -hmm. this is stainless steel and really your food's not touching it like it would be i mean unless a pan is aluminum it's you know, not really touching and then you don't use an aluminum pan right right yeah you just use a, a nice whatever it would be mm -hmm. down here you're putting in a bread pan oh, yeah. you know those oblong ones mm -hmm. yeah you put it, stuff in it with his potatoes or something right. yeah. now that i got the van dude we need let me know how i can get it yeah well I, we're making the steel one all right, cool. Which is what you need for the van, so it, you can what, use what coal. The big steel ones oh, in this one? A mini one. No, we have big size steel ones. And how much do you sell those for? Those are 500. Oh, 500. This is six, okay. and this is four. Okay. Four. Edward Prepper needs one. Yep. And he really did. Really? I mean, really? it's for life. Oh, yeah. it is, yeah. Because you don't, you don't want people to see where you are. Well, if you're yeah. in a house, and there's no smoke coming off. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's down. You could have one in a New York apartment. We'll you just channel the tube out. You know, you can't do the open thing. Now, with a teepee or a yurt, you can have the open fire. Because that's what they do in teepees and yurts. Right, right. Yeah, and yeah. even back in the day in the cabins, they always had a fire inside right. the cabin burning. Right. And the fuel was the oxygen from the cabin, and it yeah. was a source of heat as well. Yeah. So, um, that's great. You know, living off nature and getting off grid. And so it uses the, the wood so uh, efficiently that you're using a fraction of the wood that you would normally. Yeah, yeah, get a shot down there. It's pretty interesting. I mean, the pieces wow, he's it's just, in are just like. See, now we're just down to coals. It's just hanging out. Wow. But we can stoke that back up again. Oh, the wind. Uh, the try the, the, try the wood splitter, man. It's a, yeah, it's a, you guys got to check this yeah, out. Let me show you guys real quick. One little. Get it in there. Get it started. Safest wood Super splitter. Safe. Safe. Kid could do no hitting real. your shins, no hitting your thumb. As long as yeah. you don't miss the wood and hit your finger, right, right. there's well, no way Your hand really. doesn't have to be there, is Every the beauty of it. Yeah. Your hand doesn't have to be anywhere near. This is beautiful. This is genius. <coughs> now, where can I find one of these? I want to buy one. cracker, just online, whatever's Amazon. convenient for you. Okay. Amazon or cracker. Now, where do I find one of these if I wanted to That's me. That's purchase uh, one? GordonRocketCompany.com. GordonRocketCompany.com, folks. Yeah. 600 for a steel one. Yeah, and they sponsor Truth Activism, too. Yeah. So it's a good company. Yeah. This is what every uh, prepper needs right here. Yeah. They have ready like to go. Anyone has anyone. They gotta yeah. yeah, well, yeah, exactly. The anything you did to prep, you'd be very proud of it. Yeah. The thing is, you have to use so little wood, you don't have to go foraging for a lot I mean, of wood. Even because you're going to want to boil your water at the, at, at the basic survival thing. Yeah. If you want to get off grid, water shelter. there's your heat, there's your stove, there's your oven, there's yeah. your water and pure. Yeah. That's the beauty of it, is you can put small stuff in there.
it's a fishing engine is with the wood because it's a full vaporization of it. It burns it completely, uses every bit of energy in it, and burns the carbon monoxide out. The only thing coming out is CO2, which is not a problem. No. It's 0.04% of the atmosphere. Yeah. We're not having that much effect. It's good for the plants. Plant yeah, food. that's plant food. No doubt. Beautiful, man. David, thank you oh, for letting me, uh, out. yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. We've got to put some meat on there just to test. Yeah. Well, everybody, uh, that was David Gordon and his rocket stove. DavidGordonRocketStove.com. Check it out. It's good times for all here signing out. As always, thanks for watching. Later, guys.